How doing folks, welcome back to Mike's chat. This is the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves of Battle Wagon. But all in all, you can use it as a Power of the Force Star Wars Ewok Battle Wagon. Exactly the same, different paint scheme. Let's have a look. Anyway folks, this I'm going to call as my battle wagon for the Ewok Power of the Force. With the Power of the Force one, it is white wheels um, and white on the battle, the battering ram, battle, battering ram, which is this part here. This part here, which launches um, on the top. I've modified this a little wing a bit, where this top part here was from the Ewok Village. I've cut a hole and put it at the top there. Um, this bridge falls down to use it as a like a ramp where they can uh, walk. The walks can walk and stuff. But yeah, this is the battling ram thing. The uh, the ladder is Robin Hood, but um, but yeah, you can use it as a walk. Exactly the same, different paint scheme. The wheels are white. Um, yeah, so I've got a pulley lever here so I can whack the the um, bridges or doors, smash them when you go through. Uh, wind this up for this to go back up again. Winds it up. Pretty good. And then you're going to say, hang on a minute, it's missing a couple of things. Where's the skull? The skull is really, really hard to get hold of. So what I've done, I'm going to uh, cheat and use a Masters of the Universe bone skull, but is it bone skull or skull bones or whatever, monster head and fit it on the top. So basically, it goes like that. So that is going to be my Evil Powder Force skull for the um, the battle wagon and then you're going to say hang on a minute isn't it missing the uh, the cage at the, the the back here yes it is but I've modified that as well let's take a little look at that closer. anyway right here is the cage that is your prisoner cage for the back of the uh, the wagon and the doors open up and you got this, but this is basically you can say a Ewok village parts moulded into a prisoner cage for my battle wagon. So, so basically, if you look at the C3PO um, seating cage on the vintage Ewok playset village, then I've modified that into this cage, which is these parts here. At the sides where they lift C3PO up, and I've cut the the top part out, made some doors, so basically I can put my figure inside there, and then the uh, the other Ewoks can hold them, and then take the prisoners to its cage thing. So uh, so that is basically the Ewok village seating area for C3PO modified into a cage for my battle wagon. So I can put my things on there. I can even put it in there like that. So basically that is my prisoner cage for my battle wagon. Oh, it took me a little bit of time to make it, but uh, yeah, all in all, I think I've done a really good job. All I've got to do is tie the end up to the top to have it hanging. And that is my cage which I modified it and that is He-Man um, skull bone figure top part to make it as my skull for my Ewok bell uh, wagon so do I leave the wheels black on paint it white as an Ewok bell wagon or do I leave it as it is do I paint it or do I leave it what do you reckon anyway but yeah I think I've done a really good job so that is my battle wagon. Yeah, so I think I've done a really good job modifying this. 
doing the caging stuff. Look at that, it's really, really good. A little bit of a loose door, but all in all, it's from my collection, really. So, uh, yeah, hold it out like that. Pretty good. That was custom made by me. And the uh, He Man skull, Battle Bone skull, whatever it is, just put it on top of there, and that's your skull. Because the skull for the Ewok uh, Battle Wagon is really hard to get. So, yeah, let me know if you. Um, should I leave it as it is, or should I paint it into like the Ewok battle wagon with the white wheels and the uh, the brown ladder and stuff? Anyway, comment below. Thank you for the new subscribers, uh, and thank you for the old subscribers sticking by me. And you've been watching Mike's chat on the 4K eyebrow. Thank you very much. <laughs>